Hey, I want to talk to you, plant gang, about Arizona cypress, uh, Hesperocypris arizonica, or Cupressus arizonica variety glabra, in particular this cultivar blue ice. So we're here with that Arizona cypress, a little bit, just a different plant, a smaller one right now, where I can really show it to you closely. Uh, great blue color uh, that is really all up and down this plant. Uh, in particular at the tips, it has very, very light glaucous uh, foliage. Uh, now to identify too, you can get in here and smell it because it has a fresh kind of almost like a juniper type smell to it. Uh, the, the cones are starting to form even on this smaller plant. Blue ice known to be a little bit more of a narrow cultivar uh, compared to the species, but it can get uh, quite large. And so you want to make sure you plant it in an area where it has plenty of room to grow. Uh, so blue ice, uh, again, is known to be a little bit more of a narrow cultivar, and you'll awful, often see it listed as 15 foot high and just 8 foot wide. I'm going to tell you that's not the case uh, in the southeastern United States where it can get uh, quite a bit larger, uh, maybe up to 15 foot wide, uh, maybe up to, say, 30 foot tall in some cases. It can get, it can get quite large, uh, a little bit bigger than it's listed, and, and perhaps uh, when first planted, uh, that, that it was really kind of unknown the size that it gets. Uh, this has was discovered as a chance seedling in New Zealand in the 1960s, and then eventually made its way into commerce. Uh, but really, drought tolerant can handle a variety of soil conditions, uh, including sandy soils. Uh, but really, planted in a tough situation, uh, it can really thrive. Here's a landscape tip: a conical conifer that has smooth flaking reddish bark and aromatic blue-gray needles.